right, guys, so we're about to head up to O'Reilly's. We initially got him just a lower ball joint for his front end and a new wheel bearing because he's getting some uh, odd noises up front. But now what we're going to do is replace the upper ball joint too because the upper is completely shot as well and the lower is just gone. So we're going to fix this front end noise, what the duck is getting this weekend. And we've also got a ton of fuel upgrades for the first gen out there. We got big injectors in here. We got a billet diesel sump and we got an air dog big big lift pump we got to install on the first gen. So we're gonna run up to O'Reilly's real quick. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you leave it a like down below. It's been about you probably can't even hear me. Let's jump in the truck. Alrighty guys, so like I was saying, we were on our way to O'Reilly's. We actually just pulled into the local O'Reilly's here. Uh, but like I was saying before, you know, I haven't uploaded. I've been terrible about uploading. I've just been working. I mean, working in the military and working a normal job is completely two different things. The military doesn't have to pay you per hour. So pretty much I could work 75 hours and it not mean anything to my boss. But if you work 75 hours a week in a regular job, you're getting paid double, you know, your paycheck, if not damn near triple. So I am, uh, you know, considering getting out here pretty soon. Pretty soon I'll have five years in. So I'm thinking about, um, you know, maybe going to the reserve side or something to have more time to do videos, spend time with the family, and also pr pursue law enforcement in a civilian side. Um, and, you know, have pretty much the same amount of money that I have now just work a ton less so a lot of things are on the table right now um, nothing's for sure yet but hopefully I'll have more time to record videos regardless I'm taking a lot of leave here coming soon so expect a ton a ton of videos a ton of progress with the trucks but I think I'm gonna go inside and see what the holdup is and see if he is able to find the part what you working on I can't fucking remember <laughs> Fucking transmissions give me trouble all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the ball joints in here. Got the Duralast specials. Isn't that what you got? Duralast or something shit like that? Duralast and Mastercraft because I got a deal on both. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where the boxes are for them, matter of fact. Oh yeah, yeah. Duralast and Master Pros on deck. Make sure you get your duck keychains. So, we have pretty much everything done when it comes to ball joints. The lower one's down there, greased up, torque the specs. Now we're working on, oh, by the way, we just picked up this socket set, man. You won't believe how much we paid for this. So they were asking only, what was it, $70? $60. Yeah, 60 They were asking 60 so Hunter goes, well, you take 40 for them. And the lady, bless her heart, she goes, um, won't take 40 but uh, can, you, can you pay 50 for them? We were like, uh, yeah. So we needed this socket right here. I think it's an inch and five sixteenths. We ended up needing it for, we're using it right here for the torque wrench. We still have it on the torque wrench. We needed it for those ball joint nuts. And man, we ended up with a sweet deal with my dog, Ava, blue nose. But um, yeah, we ended up getting a really, really good deal on that. Right now we're just putting together the rotor back on the wheel, the new wheel hub assembly. Going to get the studs put in there. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what we have going on in the garage. Uh, not too much going on right now. Just give it, just doing some regular maintenance on his truck. He was having a he was having a weird front end noise. Ended up his ball, both ball joints needed to be replaced and the wheel hub. So once we get this put back together, we're going to go on a test drive, see if everything's good. If you guys didn't know, this is my brother What the Duck. He is starting up a new YouTube channel. He actually ended up getting rid of his Bro, old one. Retired from YouTube. No, you're not. Uh, yeah, he's he's gonna start up a new one soon. Once he does, I'll let you guys know what the channel name is. But this is a P pumped 24 valve Cummins. I'll pop the hood for y'all. We have the valve cover on there too. There you go. Let's show him the valve cover that our buddies Colton and Jace or Chase did for us. Oh, uh, you get it out. I don't want to scratch it. Still got to put his door panels in. He's just so freaking lazy. Looking good. Jesus. We've been trying Christ. to put this thing on forever. I've been so lazy about putting it on now. I've been talking about putting it on forever. The other one's bad. Sick as hell, man. What are we doing with this side? I was going to check them too while we just add it up on the jack. Got to push it down and pull it up. Yeah. Kind of bad lighting, but. Yeah, terrible lighting, but P pump 24 valve done by Bruce Wilson at Bruce. What is it, uh, After Hours Diesel? Yep. Over in Zephyr Hills, Florida? Yep. 
you guys haven't checked his channel out, make sure you guys do. Yeah, Bruce is a really Carl's, good guy. The Crazy Carl's kit with a bunch of just belly components. I, we still got studded and a couple other things, but it's dirty right now because I actually use the truck. And I'm just fucking, it's not a show truck by any means, even though we're going to put some painted goodies on it. But I hope we can get around to that today. We should be able to. Oh, yeah. First things first is maintenance, though, before looking pretty. Exactly. Maintenance always first. You guys know how we roll. He's got a S369 turbo steed speed T4. The goods, I think you what, ducky injectors, 200 horse? Yeah, there's like 711, they're like, or 7 by 11, they're like 180 to 200, depending on which those are already been repopping everything for the P pump setup, so it looks a little bit different now. Sweet, sweet. By the way, probably should go ahead and show you the injectors for the first gen that we have going on are 7 by 11s with a little bit of needlework done to them. So they are from, of course, our boys over at Power Driven Diesel. Make sure you guys check them out. They're great guys over there. Todd over there definitely, definitely is a good guy when it comes to knowledge about these 12 valves and 24 valves. He knows this stuff over there. So yeah, 7x11 sacks, uh, 148 degree, 258 bar. And this is their budget injector series. Definitely a good, good, very high quality injector for a really good price, actually. So we got to put these on the 12 valve here coming up and I don't know if you guys can see my address I may have to blur that out but we are going to get back to work just a quick update in the garage and we'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit just a quick update we've got the new wheel bearing on there we got the uh, axle nut torque for spec which is 175 foot pounds I believe we got tie rod in torque to spec all new cotter pins on everything and we are about to put his wheel on if you guys are wondering, these are 305 by 4522 Nitto 420s with 22 inch, what are these called? Fuel what? Uh, lethals. Fuel lethals. They're dirty. Yeah, they are very dirty. But hubcaps are over here. And there's another shot of that valve cover, which we're about to throw on here momentarily. I think it looks great. It matches the, the uh, silver and black scheme he's got on the truck. drive unfortunately the truck is still making a popping noise it is controlling it is steering straighter it is uh, not as much popping noise going on underneath but we still are getting some popping noise so we came back uh, we just got done actually cleaning up the shop floor because it was very disgusting I don't know if you can see in that time last but yeah we had brake cleaner oil everything everywhere but uh, we brought it back in the garage jacked up the front end turned it of course the poppy noise wasn't there I didn't see anything loose in the front end at all so comment down below let me know if you guys have any idea what this poppy noise could be it sounds like metal hitting metal so we checked his bushings on his right and left side where his shock tower bushings to make sure they were still there the washer was still there the nut wasn't loose anything crazy like that uh, we checked all his suspension everything looked good and the poppy noise uh, on that same suspension setup hasn't been there before so let us know what you think it might be in the comments down below we'd really appreciate it but i'm going to go ahead and end the video out here i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure you smash that like button it really helps the channel grow we are spinning out a new video tomorrow so make sure you guys stay tuned for that hit that notification bell so you're updated every time i post a video follow me on my snapchat and my instagram i usually upload a snapchat i upload a snapchat almost every day some pretty cool stuff actually uh, i upload on my snapchat different things shooting uh guns from flashbangs to all sorts of cool shit sometimes i post on there um, so make sure you guys check that out. Uh, just some cool shooting videos every once in a while I post. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. And we'll see you in the next one.